am back for another stitch fix. I'm excited. I just got it today, just a few minutes ago. So let's get into it. It's currently Saturday. It's pretty lazy day. I did some stuff with my mom earlier. Some kind of, you know, quick hair style going on and like absolutely no makeup on. And we are in another space today. Getting some things done, you know, like always. So just another step into my beauty makeup room office situation. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. I can't wait anymore. Okay, there's some interesting things that I see in here. So first things first, they send you an envelope. I requested the same stylist that I had last time and her name was Elizabeth, I believe. Update from last time. I also kept the pants, the red pants, and I kept the white and blue stripe shirt. So we'll see what's in this one. I really liked last month's box. It would just, that was the first time I kept two things and not just one. So we'll see. So right off the bat, I will say I did not get the same person. Like, do they even, do they even have people? Like, is it real people doing this or is it just a machine and, or one person and they just click a random name creator and they just pop out a name? Her name is Trisha, spoiler alert. Okay, let's see what we have. Hi Amy, happy fix day. I see that you've requested for Elizabeth to style you. Unfortunately, she's unavailable today, so I'm helping her out conveniently yet again, because I liked the person before Elizabeth, the first Stitch Fix I posted on here, and she was conveniently not available. If you'd like Elizabeth to style you in the future, feel free to request her for your next fix. Thank you for all the great feedback from your previous fixes. I enjoyed reading your over, reading over your style profile and getting to know more about your style preferences. I wanted to start you off with these Liverpool burgundy bootcut pants. These reminded me of a pair of burgundy pants I saw on your printer's board. These would look great with this fun to, fun to fun split neck blouse and this mix by 41 Hawthorne cardigan for an added layer. Let me know how these styles and fits work for you and if you're looking for anything specific in your next fix, all the best. Tr Trisha? I don't know, it's T-R-I-C-I-A. I would assume Trisha, but maybe just spelled weird, Tricia? I, I'm not sure. Okay, looking on the card, I will say I don't know. I don't think I'm impressed with this one as much as I was the last one because it was hard for me. The last time it was hard for me to pick what I really, really wanted. So let's just go ahead. The first thing I see is a purse It's a, or a bag. Okay. It smells like leather, but it may or may not be. Urban expressions, okay. Um, it's, it's a pretty color, but to be perfectly honest, I'm not, I'm really not a bag person. Like I'm currently using a backpack for my bag and it's been working pretty decently well. So I, let me be perfectly honest, like this is going back. I'm, I'm not gonna use that. Plus it's way too big. I already keep so much junk in my purse, backpack, whatever I'm using and it's awful. Like I don't need that much stuff in there and I'll just, fill that up with crap. So I'm not. Okay. First thing I see is this gray sort of cardigan, I guess. Okay. That's kind of cute. It's a medium. Um, okay. 
I'll try that on over something other than like this random t-shirt that I have on. The next thing I see is this. This is actually pretty cute. Decently cute. I don't know. I'll say I don't know yet. Okay, I'm just gonna show you everything and then I'll try on. Okay, the next thing that I see is a maybe gray looking, mm, it's either navy or gray, I can't really tell in this light. It looks gray to me, but it kind of looks navy on, on the screen. It has some kind of back detail. It looks, I'm not gonna lie you guys, it looks, really really big like this I feel like this is gonna like swallow me whole what size is this oh okay so it's definitely dark gray like on here it's definitely has dark gray and it's medium it's by paper moon yeah this this is not that it's not that's not gonna work it's gonna, it's gonna be so big. I'm not even gonna know like what's going on. Here are the pants. So I did buy the pants the last time, like the burgundy reddish pants because they were so comfortable. I just could not take them off. But I have like a burgundy maroonish pant already. They're, they're actual pants and I didn't have like capris so i'm like okay like i already have i already have pants almost this exact color so i'm i don't know i mean if they're really comfortable like i might but it's kind of like okay well what am i gonna wear to work today either a black pants or burgundy pants that's it like that's all i'm gonna have which granted, I mean, black goes with everything. So I have quite a few black pairs of pants, but then I'm gonna have burgundy. Burgundy doesn't go with everything. So I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of black tops too, but I have other, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here is that gray top. I don't know if you can see. I mean, it's not as big as I thought, but it's definitely, I mean, this thing is like, like up in here, there's like a lot going on here. I feel like, I don't feel like it's overly large, but it just doesn't look like it fits to me. Like it looks like it's just swallowing me in here. So I like, no. Okay, here's the next shirt. It is pretty nice. It fits decent. I have another shirt like kind of similar to this and it's really nice. And this would actually kind of go with those burgundy pants too, I feel a little bit. Okay. Um, I have pretty big arms, so I work out a lot. This thing is like, it's really stretchy but this is why I don't really like, let me, let me talk to you. This is the reason that I don't really like having the same size layer pieces than my actual size. So this shirt is a medium and it's kind of loosely fitting, which is fine. But then I put this cardigan over it and it's super tight. Like I cannot, barely move my arms I feel like it's super constricting because my arms are pretty big so they should have sent me a large in this because I wear a cardigan every single day like I'm consistently freezing in my office like I've said plenty of times before but why is this so small and this and this shirt is so huge like why I'm not understanding I mean, this is okay. It's not the most comfortable, but I don't know, okay. I don't even know if I, I'm really disappointed, I'm sorry. Like, I don't even know if I necessarily wanna try on the pants, but just for this, I guess I will. Okay, let me try on the pants and I'll be back.
Okay, the pants, like, barely, barely buckled. Um, they're a really nice length. They're pretty stretchy. To be perfectly honest, they're not bad. Um, I like that they're boot cut. Don't do this at home. Um, and if they were black, I would probably buy them. I don't know. They're pretty tight though. I mean, to be perfectly honest, like they're pretty like snug in the waist. Get off this chair carefully. Okay. I'm sitting down and now they're cutting the circulation off to my brain. Okay. Okay, first thing are the pants. And they're $88. Not gonna happen. They, like, $88 you should have pants that fit like a glove. Like, why they're tighter in the waistband than every other place in the whole fit doesn't make sense to me. I can't stand it when pants do that. It's not gonna happen. The legs feel fine. Um, and I like the cut, like I do like the boot cut, but they are like digging in my stomach because they're just like below the belly button and I will, I'm like a busted can of biscuits up in here. Okay, so those are going back, no, no question. Um, the mix by 41 Hawthorne knit cardigan. Okay, so the cardigan, hit my face, is $38. I don't hate it. I just don't want a skin tight cardigan. So the knit top is Paper Moon. $34. Okay. And that's the cheapest item. Fun to fun Walden split neck blouse. This blouse is $38. The Urban Expressions Robbie Classic Work Tote in brown, so the purse is $48. Yeah, I would not spend $48 on that. No, not at all. Okay, so for everything is $246. So total, if you bought everything, after all the discounts and everything, $164.50. To be perfectly honest, $165 for a pair of pants, a purse, two shirts, and a cardigan is pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie, pretty decent. But if y'all watch my other videos, I'm just not gonna buy it unless I absolutely love it. I guess in my next one, I will let you know what I buy 100%. Um, like I said, I think it's pretty, pretty slim pickings for this one, unfortunately. But um, thanks, Trisha, but not as good as Elizabeth. Maybe I'll do another stitch fix. I don't know. It's like you get really good ones and then all of a sudden it's like, so we'll see. Let me know if you want another one and maybe I'll, I'll do it. I always have more room in my closet. So yeah, let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'd love to talk to you in the comments. Um, subscribe if you haven't and thanks again for watching. Bye guys.